All right, tonight, two Indiana politicians are blasting an internet leak today, supposedly connecting them to the Ku Klux Klan. It is a list that showed up on an online sharing site today as the group Anonymous threatens to release the names of Klan members later this week. Call 6 investigates Rafael Sanchez joins us now with the very latest. Rafael. Erica and Todd, good evening. This is generating uh, outrage from politicians like Indiana Senator Dan Coats. His name was connected to the list with no proof, and he immediately called it Internet Garbage of the worst kind. Now here's what we can tell you right now at 6 o'clock. A hacking group calling itself anonymous says that on Thursday it will release membership information belonging to the KKK. This is reportedly in response to the Klan's threat to use lethal force against the protesters in Ferguson, Missouri earlier this summer. Anonymous denies connection to the information that was released today but says it will make public the names of one thousand Klan members on November the 5th, which just happens to be Thursday. The names obtained through a Klan Twitter account that was hacked. So that's going to happen Thursday, we, we believe. But Call 6 Investigates did a check on the number of hate groups operating in our state. The Southern Poverty Law Center, which tracks them here and across the country, says that out of 784 hate groups in 2014, the center says at least nine are in Indiana, including in the cities of Indianapolis, Bloomington, Knightstown, and Warsaw. The groups range from the Klan to the Aryan resistance to the skinheads. We should also point out that the mayor of Fort Wayne in Allen County was also forced to respond to the list, calling it totally false. We'll see what happens as this story continues to develop. All right, certainly disturbing, disturbing Raphael. Indeed. Thank you.